Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes and we're finally back in the UK. Hashtag sad faced old man. Uh, but we are going to be looking and going back. I just loved it there. Brilliant holiday. Um, I know I did two videos earlier, but let me tell you, I was not in a fit state to put my face on camera at the time. So tired. So very tired. Seems like I've been travelling for days. So back in the UK, first proper video. And we have a story about the SNP and I think fear. Now, just what, uh, last week, beginning of last week, Swinney came out and announced his new programme for government, he called it. And he had all these policies. Look at us. We're the SNP. We're going to do this and this and this and this and 48 things all before breakfast because we are brilliant. Here we are just a week later. And um, what's happened? Well, they've actually achieved none of them. But worse than that, uh, one of the things in that programme was a massive overhaul of rent in Scotland for the private rental sector, the PRS, as it's known. Now, uh, one of the things that they wanted initially, uh, and which was actually not from the SNP, it was a Greens policy, sort of a hangover from the Greens, was massive rent controls, massive more increased rights for tenants um, over um, the landlords. Um, there would have been, well, you know, basically ways for in which a tenant would just carry on living at a place and never pay rent again. It was this bad. Um, now, what's happened is they've abandoned it. They've thrown it away. They can't do it. They're, they're basically, they're not officially abandoning it because this is what happens. They don't officially abandon it because that looks bad. So what they do is they say it needs to go to a committee stage and needs to be further investigated. They're basically kicking it down the road. Uh, which is, in political speak, we're abandoning it. That's what it means. Uh, we don't want to say it's going to be thrown out because that would be embarrassing, but that's what's happening. And everybody knows it. So why don't you just come out and say it's bad? But why? Why is Swinney and the rest of the SNP abandoning this terrible, awful problem? Uh, that, sorry, um, programme, this particular bill. Interesting question. Now, surely... It can't be because they have suddenly wised up. They have suddenly realised how awful it would be for the people of Scotland should they, this bill go through and all the private landlords sell up and leave the sector. Because if they do, of course, they will then take their money and invest it, say, in the stock market, for example. And that would mean that any money raised from it would go, of course, to the UK government not the Scottish government, whereas if it's an income provided by rents, uh, it would go to the Scottish government as an income tax. That can't be it, surely, because that would indicate some kind of understanding of how the economy and taxation works. And we know, blatantly, they haven't got a clue how the economy and taxation works, not one iota of a clue. OK, then, is it because they realise that if all these landlords sell up, there'll be a massive homelessness problem and they don't have the facilities to house these people that would suddenly be made homeless. Is that what it is? Well, no, because we know that they're actually heartless, humorless, humor, inhumane monsters. They don't care about people. They don't care about homelessness. They don't care that there's 100,000 children languishing uh, in unsuitable accommodation. They just don't care. So it can't be that, can it? Is it because it's a law that doesn't have an ability to be able to push independence at any point of its creation? Ah, that's a possibility, isn't it? Because there's no independence victory by landlords being forced to put people up for nothing effectively. Maybe that's it. Maybe. There's all sorts of reasons, um, but I think the main one is that they know that getting the law through would highlight all the problems with the law. And I think this is the main reason. They're aware of the optics of what they're doing. They don't care about the consequences. They've never cared about the consequences Mainly, of course, and we've discussed this many times, mainly because they're not aware of consequences. They don't understand consequences of action. 
They do things because something sounds politically correct. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. Let's do it. What about the consequences? Ah, there aren't any consequences until, of course, there are. And then they're like, well, nobody told us that would happen apart from everybody who told them that this would happen. So, yes, I think <clears throat> somehow, perhaps, maybe, they've suddenly become aware of the consequences of what this law would mean. Now, if only they could apply that to all the other um, things that they do, perhaps life in Scotland would be better. But I don't, you know, I don't suggest you hold your breath and hope for it. But certainly, should um, Scotland's private landlords dump all their houses all at once, the housing market becomes depressed, people are trapped in negative equity. Those lucky few who can then afford to buy will buy. But of course, the vast majority in private rental um, you know, situation still won't be able to afford to buy because they're in rent because they can't get a mortgage for whatever reason. It could be that their, their mortgage would be lower than their rent, but the bank still won't lend to them, even though they've got a proven track record of paying their rent. It's one of the weird things caused, they may say, by a Labour government who brought in much tighter um, lending rules as a result of the 2008 crash, which happened, of course, on uh, Gordon Brown's watch. And so you can actually blame Labour for that. That's that's not one you can hold against the SNP. This was a nationwide clampdown on banking lending rules by Labour. Um, in fact, the funny thing is, Leslie Riddock, sorry, on the side, I shouldn't do a side, but Leslie Riddock uh, yesterday, I think, came out and said that um, the Labour Party and the SNP are now almost entirely um, indecipherable. You, uh, indecipherable, you know, um, unchangeable. You couldn't. You can't put a cigarette paper between the two. Um, they are the same. They are one and the same. But of course, they are. They're both Marxist governments. They both hate success. They don't like. They're joyless. They don't like joy. They don't like people having fun. Um, they both want total control over every aspect of your lives. Their policies are almost interchangeable. The only main thing, of course, is that Labour are still going ahead with their rent control laws that Scotland have just abandoned. But that's only one. So many other things, they are so closely aligned. And I think Leslie Riddock, and it's very rare a day I agree with anything that comes out of Leslie Riddock's mouth. But on this one, she's bang on, isn't she? She's absolutely spot on. But hey-ho. Uh, but just to find, finish off with the rent, over 200 studies have shown uh, that rent controls damage and hurt uh, tenants more than landlords. And that, I'm afraid, is unavoidable. But that's what happens when idiots are given control. Thanks very much. Let me know what you think, and I will speak to you soon. Bye.